Good morning everyone, this vlog is starting off a little different to usual. So yesterday my host parents got home and the kids went with them and they said that they left the kids at my host dad's parents house for until Tuesday night. So that means I have two days off, which is very exciting. I didn't expect that, so that was a massive surprise. That means there's no homeschooling today, there's no work today which is very exciting so I decided that I'm finally gonna go into London um, for the first time so that's really exciting I might be going by myself I might be going with someone else I have to figure that out so I don't know exactly how much I will be filming but very excited I can't wait to go into London I was gonna go this weekend but when my host parents said that the kids were at the grandparents' house. I was like, this is the perfect time to go into London. I'll probably also go into London in the weekend. But yeah, this is very exciting. I will, of course, have to wear a face mask the whole time that I'm on the train. I don't know if I have to wear one while I'm actually in London. I don't think I will. So, I'm on my way to the train station. I've left a bit earlier because I have to put money on my Oyster card because I haven't really used it um that's about it really i don't know how much i'll actually vlog but i'll try and vlog a bit so i'll keep you guys posted the square it is very 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 quiet at the moment there's not many people here as you can see but it is so nice that is the national museum we've got one of the fountains we've got the big 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 statue with the four I think it's, yeah four lions and another fountain there's like zero people and it is so nice. So, I'm currently just walking around London. I'm trying to find my way to Buckingham Palace. I'm probably going to get lost. But yeah, that's what I'm doing. I don't really know where I am, but I'm following Google Maps. So, yeah. So I found a park to walk through. It's called, I think, St. George's or George's Park. It's one of, oh, it's one of the royal parks. Um, but I'm just coming up to Buckingham Palace now, which is exciting. Or I think I am. I've been getting a bit lost. I think I'm just about to come up to Buckingham Palace. There it is. Buckingham Palace. There it is. It's very loud. There are not many people here. There's still a lot of people here taking photos and stuff. Um, but yeah, that's also some nice gardens. And yeah. So I'm going to walk around a bit, take some selfies, and I'll come back to you when I have something new. So, the park that I was walking through before was actually called James's Park. I don't know why I thought it was called George's Park, but it was called St. James's Park. I just went to see Buckingham Palace. You can see it there in the background, I think that's it. Yeah. So now I'm walking through one of the parks. I'm walking to Hyde Park. I'm hoping on my way there I can find some food because I'm actually kind of hungry. I do think I can. But yeah, I'm just walking through the park in the shade. And then I'm going to walk through Hyde Park. I don't know what I'm going to do after that, but I'll find something to do since I have the whole day to just chill. So, once again, I'm walking through a park. Um, I'm still in Hyde Park. I don't know which part of Hyde Park I'm in. I am. I just had lunch at the Serpentine Kitchen, I think it was. I was looking out along the body of water that's in Hyde Park. Now I am walking in Hyde Park. I'm like right on the edge because there's the road, there's the park. Um, I'm not really sure where I'm going, but I will figure it. I feel like most of today's part of the vlog is going to be me just walking around in parks, but. Yeah, I don't know where I'm gonna go. I'm just gonna walk around a little bit. It's only like 1 p.m. So I still have a couple more hours that I can be out and about. 
I mean, I don't have to be home at any time, but I'd like to be home kind of early. So we'll just see what happens. I just thought I'd update for the millionth time. I'm currently sitting across the road from the Royal Albert Hall behind me. You can see it. Is, I think it's St. Albert Memorial. Um, I'm just sitting out here for a minute and chilling. Actually, not many people. My, I've been talking to my gran back home and sending her photos and she was so, so shocked at how little people there are. She sent me photos of when she was in London in 1996 with her sister and her husband and her sister's husband. Um, so she sent me all those photos and it's so crowded and she can't believe that there's barely anyone here. Um, yeah, it's been a good day, it's really hot. So I'm just, I need to find somewhere in the shade to sit. I should have brought a book with me, but I didn't. <laughs> yeah, so I'm just gonna chill here and then I'm probably gonna walk back through Hyde Park, find a train station and head home a bit head home so that I can enjoy the, the rest of the evening at home and yeah I might stop and look at how pretty this is because it is it is really pretty I made it to the train I hope you guys can hear me otherwise I'm going to have to put some titles made it to the train home we've got one more station I'm at the end station there's like no one else on the train now um yeah there it is train is empty. Oh. Yeah, the train is empty because I am at the end station is where I have dropped off. So the train is completely empty. It was really full when I hopped on. But I just wanted to end today's part of the vlog off now because my phone's going to die and I'm not doing anything else for the rest of the day. So I hope you enjoyed seeing me go to London. I'll probably also go into London on Saturday, so that will be fun. But I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye. So, good morning everyone. It is Tuesday. Well, it's not morning anymore, it's afternoon. I didn't vlog yet. I haven't started vlogging yet today. I have come into London again, and I am just chilling. Um, yeah, I just went to, the, I went to Blackfriars Bridge. I went to Borough Markets, I got gelato at this nice shop that my host dad suggested that's by Borough Markets. It was really good. If you want to see how good it looked, I'm going to post a photo on my Instagram. It will already be up by the time this vlog is out. Um, yeah, at the moment I'm just walking to the Millennium Bridge, which is a couple minutes away according to Google Maps. I'm just walking there and I'm going to walk across there. If I am correct, that is the bridge that was used in the Harry Potter movies. In the sixth Harry Potter movie, it gets destroyed by Death Eaters. Pretty sure I'm correct with that. If not, I'm sure someone here is also a Harry Potter nerd and can tell me. But yeah, so I'm just doing that today. And then I might make my way to Hyde Park and walk around there for an hour or two and then head home. Um, yeah. So if anything interesting happens, I will show you guys. So I made it. I'm on the bridge, the Millennium Bridge. It's very nice. Behind me, there's the Blackfriars train station. And on the other side of that is Blackfriars Bridge. And over there in the distance, you can see London Bridge. So in this vlog, I keep referring to Tower Bridge as London Bridge. I just wanted to point out that I am aware of that and I'm sorry that I keep referring it to that but I do know that it is Tower Bridge I just for some reason was kept calling it London Bridge all day and the Shard which is where I just was so yeah it's very nice it's quite windy today but it is quite nice might now randomly be at St. Paul's Cathedral. I'm probably wrong, but let's go find out. So I was correct. That was St. Paul's Cathedral. I just walked around and sat there for a little bit. I was at the back of St. Paul's Cathedral and I was like, wow, isn't that just so amazing how pretty it is? 
and then I walked around and I'm like, oh, that was the back and the front's even more beautiful. And yeah, I just sat there and looked at it for a bit and sat on the step for a bit. One day I'll come back and go inside, but not today. Um, now I'm just walking around, I'm by this thing. It's just by St. Paul, St. Paul's Cathedral. I'm probably just gonna walk around a little bit more. I don't know if I will actually go into Hyde Park. Might not, I might walk back along the Millennium Bridge. Maybe go to London Bridge. Or maybe just go home. I don't know, but we'll figure it out. So, I decided to walk to London Bridge. I'm nearly there, I think. Not really sure, just kind of winging it a little bit. Might have walked past it. I don't know, we'll have to see. But I decided to walk to London Bridge. So, I think I did walk past it. So, I hadn't walked past it. I did think I'd have to be pretty stupid to have walked past it. I'm nearly there. I can't, well, I can't see it right now, but I could see it in front of me. So, yeah. So, I don't know if I'm going to be able to use this footage because it's so flippin' windy, but... I'm on the bridge. I'm on the Tower Bridge. It is really nice and really pretty, but very windy. And my phone's going to die, so I don't think I'll do much more. So, I am on my way back home now. Um, I spent the day walking around. I'm so tired. Um, but I'm happy to be going home. My host kids get home later today. My host dad will be leaving to pick him up either right as I get home or not long after. So I'll be seeing him this afternoon and then tomorrow, I don't know if I mentioned it, but tomorrow my youngest host kid is going to school. Um, to school tom tomorrow and Thursday. Um, so that she can see her teacher and her friends for the last time because in September when they when schools go back they will have different teachers and she will be in the year above what she is now. So yeah I guess I'll see you guys tomorrow probably after I have dropped her off at school. So good evening everyone. Um, it's Wednesday. I haven't really had a chance to film. I'm just gonna make sure there's no cars. Um, I haven't really had much of a chance to film. Um, today wasn't actually too bad. This is one of the first days in a while that I haven't felt completely exhausted after I finished work, so that's good. Um, so my youngest host kid went to school today. Her school is doing this thing where all the kids come back for at least two days for like within this next week and a half um, because they want the kids to see their teachers and their friends for the last time because when they go back in September they'll all be in different classes and have different teachers etc. Yeah so my host kid was at school today which was good I dropped her off in the morning picked her up and in between I just did washing and stuff like that the brothers were still at home they only have tomorrow and Friday and then they're finished until September which is handy and yeah that's about all that happened today that I can think of um tomorrow is basically the same another thing that happened is our washing machine broke for the second time since I've been here. I don't know if it has anything to do with me. I hope it doesn't. I hope I didn't break it. But it looks it is broken, which is annoying. It broke while I was washing towels. So that's very inconvenient. Um but yeah, that's all that really happens. Hopefully we fix the washing machine because that's so much washing that I need to do. But aside from that, that's all that's happened. We're back to our boring, boring, normal, everyday lockdown after going into London, sadly. So, good morning. It is Thursday. I just dropped my youngest host kid off at school. I'm just walking back. I have a school with me, which is what the rattling is. Um, not much is really going to happen today. The washing machine is still broken. So I won't be able to do any washing and stuff, which is kind of really annoying, but it's fine. Um, 
So I won't be able to do any of that today, but I have ironing and stuff to do. I'll probably edit some videos. And yeah, that's about all today. My host kid is very excited because she did a tie-dye shirt yesterday at school and she is very excited to be able to show me it um, because she gets to bring it home today because we'll be dry properly. Um, that's about it. I'll probably go for a run later on. I don't know if I'll film later on, but maybe I will. But I have to see. But yeah. Play! Ready? Cut it! Ew, it's all wet. Cut it! Go! Are you strong? You're strong! Strong, strong, strong. Oh. oh. Bye, Betty. So, good morning, everyone. Um, as you can probably tell by the state of my hair, I just woke up. It is Friday morning, and yeah, it's about 7 a.m. Today is a normal Friday. We've got homeschooling to do, and yeah. That's about it really, it's just a normal homeschooling day. Two older host kids, last day of school for the school year. And um, so they're pretty excited about that. Although they've both given up on doing their work. Yeah, that's about it. Yesterday, not much really happened. My host mum picked up my youngest host kid from school as a surprise. I went for a run in the evening. My host mum had one of her friends come over so they were out having a good chat until late in the night so yeah that's about it really um not much happened not much will probably happen today but i'll let you know if something interesting happens hello everyone so i oh I'm trying to find something i'm just lying on the trampoline my youngest host kid just went inside to get a new t-shirt because she's too hot um not much is happening today we're making rice crispy treats which will hopefully turn out really well we've basically finished her schoolwork for the day and yeah we're just kind of chilling at home today i probably won't record anything until tomorrow but yeah that's all that's really been happening so now it's time to bounce on the trampoline so good morning everyone um I am once again heading into London. I probably won't do as much vlogging this time though because I'm meeting up with a group of other au pairs and we're just going to have a picnic in the park. Um, I think we're going to St. James's Park. We're all meeting at a train station because that's easier. So that's what I'm doing today. Hopefully it gets sunnier because it's really cloudy right now. But yeah, I'll see what, I, see what happens. Maybe I'll vlog a little bit but probably not. So I'm on my way home, um, I met up with some of the other authors, they were really nice and um, we just walked around London all day, I'm so tired, we did about like 18,000 steps, <laughs> so my feet are a bit sore, we did a little bit of shopping, we walked along Oxford Street, maybe not the best idea, I was quite busy but we all wore our masks, so hopefully, yeah. Um, yeah, we had a little picnic as well, and it was really good. So I'm just heading home now. So, yeah, talk to you guys later. Good morning, everyone. So it is 9.30ish. Just woken up. Don't know how I'm awake. I was dumb and went to bed at like 1.30 in the morning. So that wasn't that smart. Um, as always, I'm probably just going to end the vlog here because not much is going to happen today. I'm going to go for a walk, probably go for a run, and I'm going to spend my day editing and watching Marvel movies. So not much is happening today. Nothing vlog worthy is happening. So I thought I'd just keep it short as well, because this is going to be quite a long vlog because of my going into London and my excitement over that. Yeah, hopefully you liked this vlog this was a real i loved this vlog i loved editing it and i liked filming it obviously um i'm very excited that i'm finally going into london yeah so make sure you like and subscribe i make new vlogs every week 
and I do occasional sit down videos on a Wednesday um yeah and make sure you comment any thoughts that you have down below and I will see you next week bye Thank you.